Yo, what's up crew? Welcome back to the show. It's your partner, Just Mike. Now, we're back in here on some Madden 16 gameplay. And uh, we're using Campus Heroes right now. This is a Campus Hero featured gameplay for Madden 16 Ultimate Team. And uh, yeah, we got DeAnthony Thomas as our running back, the Speed Demon. We also got Kevin White, the Glitch. And we also are, are running Jacoby Ford. All right, this guy has 98 speed. He's a mini Perryman. And he can get the job done. So we're running him. We're also running Colts at tight end. And as well as Crawford on defense. So immediately we use DeAnthony Thomas on this sweep here in the in, in the red zone and get six. This guy is, like I said, a speed demon. And to be honest with you, he has very deceptive feet. Sometime on runs, he can seem a little bit slower, even with that 96 speed and crazy acceleration. But I think his speed is better utilized as a passer, like coming out of the backfield and catching passes. He's really blazing feet fast that way. But we get the two points. We throw it in traffic, and we get the two points here. And, uh, man, this gameplay, it's a quick gameplay, but, man, I'm telling you, you can already feel, oh, I already felt how quickly I got into the red zone that this game was going to be a good game for me as my opponent returns it. Hits me with a juke, but we wrap them up, and then, you know, we get started. And I'm kind of eager to see what my opponent has. This is always the best drives. It's the first drive to find out who your opponent is, what he likes to do, and he can make adjustments from there. He tries to run it. We swallow him up, pause it at, and, you know, we just basically the thing that I did with my defense is instead of just running the same people all the time, I kind of took a different approach. I just have different people every time I come out here. Every time I come out and play an ultimate team game, I like to edit my line or edit my players and bring in new pay, new people. So that way it's more funner for me, and then I can see something different instead of running the same people over and over again. As we and we try to run a sweep, and then we ran them out on the out of bounds. Now he comes out here, and I think this play here, he just basically has us naked i mean i think almost every one of his players was naked on this play but he just didn't make a play he tries to go deep to owen daniels but he doesn't have enough speed to actually catch up and get that ball but he had us beat on this play i mean i was figuring he was going to the corners and he streaked it out on us and he could have really scored on this play but after this i was worried because like i said i changed my defense every time i play and one of the things i did was i put defensive backs well cornerbacks as my free safety and strong safety so we got byron jones the superlative superlative addition at uh strong safety and we got smith who plays cornerback for the kansas city chiefs at uh strong safety and smith i believe is six four i believe six three six four and uh Start doing that after I was playing Brandon Browner at uh, free safety on draft champions, and he he actually was like a low class gold cornerback in the game. But when you put him at either free straight free safety or strong safety, the guy just turns into a beast, you know. And so I just started running basically cornerbacks as my free safety and strong safety, and I've had some success with it. And here, I'm just trying to figure out what is he going to do. And he threads the needle and gets the ball to his receiver. Now, the thing that I, I, I don't, well, I don't like that he caught the ball. But what I like is that we're actually there to actually make a break on it if we can. You know, and that's just a good thing is just getting better and better on pass defense. Is that at least we're there on the ball, you know. Um you got to be able to be there to make a play on the ball. At least we're getting there and we're making plays and sometimes we're breaking it up. Sometimes we're stopping catches and that's all that counts in madness that you got to be there to stop them from making first downs when you can. And then this guy is just basically hitting the flats out on me, edging his way downfield, eking his way down the field. And I'm cool with that because that's wasting time, you know. And so I'm just trying to come out in anything and find out what this guy's doing. I'm changing my plays. I'm doing one play and then changing it up at the last second so he can, like, you know, get, he can get uh, faked out. And we're there. We're making breaks on the ball, but we're not able to get it. But I'm saying I'm cool with that because we're able to break stuff up, and I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. So in this play, I'm wondering, what is he going to do? He actually goes and takes a, a shot deep, but Pat P is there, 
and Smith is there, and that's not going to happen. Not with those two guys back there. Not with those two guys that went back there, man. So he goes again, and I'm wondering what side is he going to go to. I'm trying to figure out what he's going to do. He dinks it under, and that's no good. You no, know, David Johnson, the glitch. Everybody is running to David Johnson at some level. Either you have the first team of the week edition, you have the the last team of the week edition, that's a 96 speed, or some form of David Johnson. All of them gives us headaches. As you know, he tries to go for the post there. Cromarty just swallows that up. That's team of the week, Cromarty, by the way. And he's making plays, man. I'm loving the fact that Cromarty is out there making plays, bro. That's all I could ask. Just make breaks on the ball and make plays. And so we get back on offense. I'm thinking about going deep, but I decided to go under. I want to work my way into a deep route. So we hit DeAnthony Thomas going into the flats. He gets a nice chunk of yardage. And so I'm just trying to work my way up to a deep ball. And we hit Jacoby Ford on the flats going to the, towards the flats. And I figure, like, you know, this is a good time to run it with DeAnthony. Maybe I can catch him off guard. You know, I've been throwing it, so maybe he can fall for this run. So we run it with DeAnthony Thomas. And we get a nice chunk of yardage, but we get stopped short of the first down. And I'm figuring right here is a good way. Because I think he figures that it's only second down. And I might be running inside zone or something like that. But I actually go deep with Colts on that linebacker. And we get enough separation, just enough. And we get the catch. <laughs> now, at this point in time, I think that he probably was really upset that that happened. Because after this, he paused the game. And I thought he paused glitched or he was going to concede. But... To be honest with you, I edited this video, but he was on that pause screen for at least about four to five minutes. I don't know how it happened, but he was there for a long time. I, th I thought he thought I was going to just quit, but I wasn't. And so next play, we give it to the glitch. Kevin White, Campus Heroes Kevin White, and that 97 speed actually gives enough separation for us to get in the end zone and get six, man. Campus Heroes Kevin White is a glitch. I think he's one of the better gold uh, Campus Heroes. I've been playing with his regular gold card for a long time. You know, I mean, his regular gold card is beastly too. So, I mean, it's just not the Campus Heroes one. I think a lot of people have slept on Kevin White in Madden this year. You know, so I've been using him though. But, you know, my opponent gets the ball back and immediately we hit him. And we strip the ball and we make him fumble. So I'm figuring everything is going my way, nothing going his way. EA has a classic cheese going on. I thought he was going to concede here, but we end up getting paused again for like two minutes. And I don't know how this happens because when I pause it, I can only get 30 seconds. But, you know, to each his own. Actually overturned the fumble, which is okay with me. I mean, we were already up by two plus touchdowns. So I'm cool with the, the point deficit and I mean, he only has 14 seconds so i'm thinking either it's going to be something glitchy or he's going to do something stupid to give us the ball back so he tries to go deep and i'm thinking we're going to pick this off or he's going to get a glitchy catch and get a field goal we actually break that up he gets another chance at it and so this is a do or die play and so he goes but we send some heat and he can't get that screen off and i think he goes right back to it if i'm not mistaken so you know he lines up and he's this is basically all or nothing i'm playing for all or nothing here and so he goes to another screen and he's not even able to convert the catch so we take it out and we get the start of the second half underway and i'm just happy at what we're playing i'm happy at the level that we're playing and i think we're having a really good game and I'm loving what I'm getting from my offense. I like the way the defense is making plays on the ball. We're just not giving up and getting beaten. And we're trying to make adjustments. And I'm just trying to make adjustments as a, a Madden player myself. And I'm happy at what I'm doing here in this game. You know, even though it's basic as hell. But I'm happy what we're doing here in this game. It's all about progression. You know, anybody will tell you that. And so we start off. And I'm trying to figure him out. And instantly he comes in five wide and I'm sweating. So I changed defense to man cover. And instead of going deep and trying to be great, he actually just plays it cool, man. He plays the under routes. I'm cool with that. Like, you can have that. You can take that. 
as much as you want. I'm, I'm not mad at it. So go ahead and do what you have to do. He goes again for the under route. And I figured that he was going to go deep that time because it was a no huddle. And he's not going deep, you know. So I'm just waiting for that long bomb. And this is where he goes. And we get pressure and we break that up, right? So I'm happy about that. But now I see he's want, he's wanting to go deep now. So I have to change up my defense. But I want it to still look the same. But I'm changing my defense up. And we get in there on him immediately, immediately. All right, Smith comes in there and just wrecks havoc. And so he's upset now. I'm pretty thinking, I'm pretty sure that he's either going to try to streak it out or if he can't convert this, he's going to quit. We get in there. It's a flag, but we pick it off with Smith making plays and actually was offsides on us, on Crawford, the captain's hero. And he clicked the wrong button and he gave us the ball back. But after this, that was too much for him. And subsequently, you know, I figured that he was going to concede. So I'm just waiting and there he goes. He concedes, but that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay more of the gameplay to come. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys add me on Instagram at just Mike 77 on social media at just Mike 77. And I'll see you guys on the next one. And add me on PS4 at just Mike underscore 77. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out.